I am home. I went to church this morning. I was lay leading this morning, so I was the secondary person, you know, announcing hymns and stuff. The dog is really loud. Um, I have been taking my anti-anxiety med, the new one, in the middle of the day with food, right? This has been working okay for me. I really need to get used to it and, and, and increase the dose slowly over time. But today it hit hard. It, re it really hit hard. And I actually had to leave my car at the church until my brain clears up enough that I can safely drive. That was completely unexpected, but I'm home now. I'm going to have a wrap from Schlotsky's for lunch. And I'm going to try to watch Pulp Fiction. And then I'm going to go and get my car later when I'm functional. But evidently, the script that we are using needs some changes. And uh, there were a couple of flubs. And this was set up for me. So um, I'm, I'm going to make some suggestions for them. But it's okay. We kept rolling. It's good. All right. I got my kids home. I got my car home. Um, Pulp Fiction was really interesting. That, that was, that was pretty cool. Uh, now I am a bit behind schedule on this, but I, um, I, it, it's dinner time. John microwaved some chicken nuggets, even though apparently he already had dinner with, with his dad. Um, he's got a haircut, which he's not very happy to hear this, but... <sighs> In the past, my kids would come home sometimes with very, very, very short clippers all the way around. Uh, sorry, haircuts, but this actually suits his face. I know he doesn't like that. He keeps saying that he looks like some guy named Trevor who runs a prank channel on YouTube. Um, I don't think so. I He keeps saying some guy called Trevor. I think he looks nice. I think this is going to be super practical with the amount he gets in the pool. But that's my opinion. Anyway, uh, since Bruce was not interested in eating and John wanted microwave chicken nuggets and I didn't want chicken nuggets for the third night in a row, uh, I microwaved a can of ravioli and instead of powdered uh, sawdusty parmesan, I got actually shaved parmesan melted on top. And it's warm and creamy and good. And I'm going to have um, some zero sugar ginger ale. And I'm not going to put any grown-up stuff in it today. I think I'm going to watch some She-Hulk because it's been a while. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's been a while. And I'm, I really like this series. Like, Makes me happy. I don't think I finished it. Here is season plus. It ran away from me for a moment. Anyway, uh, I yeah, I got a little bit of bad news that uh, their great grandmother had a fall this after uh, this uh, this weekend, and she's in the hospital. So I'm gonna be keeping a close eye on how my kids are feeling about that and try to. Send, send a card her way because that um, that sucks I believe she's around 90 years old and um, she comes from Germany so I always found her cooking very interesting and uh, I went to a Christmas mass with her one time I'm not Catholic, so that was that was very different. She was surprised that I knew the Christmas carols that <laughs> that were being sung. But um yeah. What a day. I'm wrapping up my day. I I gotta get kind of an early start tomorrow. I really hope my kids are cooperative. Cause uh yeah, early. Love doing stuff early. Um I, I don't know. Ho hopefully we get this follow-up out of the way. Find out everything's going pretty well. 
and uh, let's see, Monday, should be an easy day. I have all my fingers crossed for a pretty easy day aside from this one appointment. So, with a little luck, I could have a restful start to my week, maybe. We'll find out. Look at your Pokemon. Why? It's right now. Do you get the joke? I'm not even sure which pride flag that is. It's rainbow. In Food looks good though. Oh, most definitely. Okay, I'm, I'm having a day. All right, I, I'm having a, I'm having a, a day. The follow up with John's tonsillectomy. Everything from from December, totally fine. Still trying to get scheduled for the follow up sleep study. You see how he's doing there. Okay. Nice day, nice weather. Went out to, you know, a nice little restaurant and had some a ridiculous amount of really good food that is not not good for me. Uh yeah, and uh there was there was a, there was an unexpected twist that that he finds embarrassing. Um it's minor, just extra to deal with. Um that's unrelated. It's entirely unrelated. Anyway, that took up most of my day. I rushed home, took my new meds that I'm still getting used to. And I found out that if I take them when I have just eaten rather than just before I'm going to eat, it seems to hit differently. Anyway, um, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't have such a hard hitting impact and, and I guess I need to eat it during or, or, or take it, eat it. I hate it when people say eat a pill, uh, during a meal or just following a meal, um, because this, this was rough on an empty stomach. Anyway, I'm home now and I, I would guess that, yeah, yeah, uh. I kind of messed up yesterday, taking it the way that I did. Um, I am just now home, having picked up my kids. So John basically only had a half day because of this appointment, taking up most of the morning. And, uh, of course, you can't take a, a kid to school when they might miss lunch and, and just have them hungry. That's, that's why we stopped and he had skipped breakfast. So, brunch out with mom. What a treat. I picked up my kids and I went out, I took them out and got, uh, I got them earbuds because every now and again, the Bluetooth earbuds just up and disappear. They break, whatever. So it was, it was just time for another round. I had to pick up a couple of things for the, um, extra hitch in, um, my plans and, uh, some Tylenol. And, uh, since my parents are still dieting, interestingly, and my mom was going to be out at her, uh, her class, I figured I'd go ahead and get the boys some dinner while I was out. I think Bruce had his in the car. John was busy with a Master Chief action figure that he found in the clearance section for seven dollars it's not too bad um let's see if i can get this blasted thing open ah! okay so we stopped at the, the shawarma press this garlic sauce smells amazing i got a half size hummus bowl with chicken and garlic sauce and this smells, uh, this smells awesome. And I considered getting a nice coffee there, but I'm really, really trying to avoid dairy products, cold dairy products. So I came home and I uh, found a big old glass in the cabinet and I fixed myself a nice coffee. 
This is a uh, very low calorie planet oat milk. Planet oat, oat milk, unsweetened. It's like 45 calories for one cup of it. That's pretty good. Um, the coffee is by Califia Farms. It's a cold brew blonde roast. And then I also put um, some ready whip coconut based non-dairy whipped cream stuff in it. And I might, yeah. Zero calorie caramel syrup, of course. That's by Jordan Skinny Syrups. I'm gonna try to relax. I have been rushing around the last couple hours because traffic has been terrible. But food smells good. I'm gonna watch some TV. Probably Stargate. Maybe She Hulk. I'm gonna try to keep it, uh, try to keep it, um, short and try to get some editing done because I've been on a roll lately and I want to stay on it. Alright, I know, I'm up late. Well, you shouldn't, I shouldn't be, but I'm feeling rattled. Um, some of it might be the medication. I'm still adjusting to that. And one of the side effects is uh, you can either be kind of more, or you can be like um, like excitable. And uh, I got pretty laser focused on a podcast and and uh, some it's like missed play solitaire again points. That's not great. I'm I'm trying really hard here to wind down. It's even a really relaxing podcast. And Solitaire is just like the most boring game ever. It didn't even have the little fish in the background. Um, I think I'm tired enough to sleep now, though, so I'm going to try. I, I did take my evening medications and vitamins and I'm drinking water, so, so there's at least that. Um, thankfully, I don't have a whole lot to do tomorrow. Yeah, I am really, um, today's been something, uh, mostly, mostly fine. I left the house at two o'clock, picked up a prescription, dropped some DVDs at the library, got a not quite sympathy card, like a, you know, get well soon card, kind of a, mm, complicated kind of a mix between the two, wrote something nice in it, grabbed some stuff for dinner and a and a little booklet of postage stamps. Deposited a reimbursement check for last church function over at my bank. Ran to the post office. Mailed a card. And um, went and picked my kids up from school. Got home. Cooked. I'm, um, I'm not feeling fantastic. It has been a sweatpants kind of a day. Sweatpants and painkillers. Something is tapping the underneath side of the house and it's driving me up the wall. Uh, I'm I'm about to watch some Stargate or maybe Psych. I do love Psych. Uh, but first, it's dinner time. It's going to reverse order. Okay, I'm working on a big honking bottle of water. This is not Ozarka water. This is I refill this bottle at the RO filter on the kitchen tap. After, um, after I finish what I've got available, I'm going to have some of my ethical chocolate stuff. This is, uh, Theo brand, fair trade. It's organic, non-GMO, and it is 45% milk chocolate. And probably before I get into that, because this is a little bit healthier, this is a this is a 60 calories Chobani zero sugar in the flavor Boston cream pie. If you look really closely, it says inspired. It's inspired by Boston cream pie. 
It'll be interesting to see how that tastes. The interesting thing is that when you go to buy it and the people in the grocery store have no idea what you're talking about and you have to Google and show them a picture and it's like, it's actually a cake. We don't sell pies here. No, it's Boston cream pie. You do sell it. I saw, I saw it last month. All right, so I went really, really easy on, on the pasta, but it's fettuccine Alfredo again with some rotisserie chicken shredded from the grocery store. Um, there's big flakes of Parmesan that's been shaved on top of that. Not a whole lot of it, though. Uh, I got some garlic bread over that where it actually got warm enough to melt the butter quite a bit this time. And then salad with my usual dressing. And then once I am actually pretty well stuffed, I'm going to attempt the second half dose um, for the new meds because I am supposed to be working up to taking a whole pill in the morning, whole pill at night. And I've been taking a half pill. And I have been pushing this earlier and earlier. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to try an evening dose of another half pill. And then um, probably next week, I'm going to try to step the second dose up to a full size. And then if I'm still okay, we'll full dose the morning as well. But my doctor said start really small. Start small, s slow and steady, and keep me posted. Anything weird happening, so, okay. Because that's really... <clears throat> if, he, if he didn't say that, I probably would say, nope, forget it. Yeah, Stargate. Well, as expected, uh, the medications knocked me out a little bit this evening. But I woke up again for a bit, and I realized that uh, the steroid preventatives I picked up at the pharmacy today, the inhalers, um, I picked up a prescription. I didn't realize there were three in the bag. Yeah. Yeah, according to pharmaceutical companies in the U.S., that is, um, that's $1,500 worth of me being able to breathe. And watched uh, some funny Vine compilations with John. And I've started on a documentary about the Phoenicians, but I think I'm about ready to call it a night. Took my meds, took my vitamins, I'm good. And then tomorrow... Not a lot. I don't have a lot going on tomorrow. I have some ideas of what I might want to do with my time. I didn't manage a whole lot today, but I did manage to get an entire weekly blog uploading, so editing. Booyah. Um, I I took my morning dose super early on the new medication, didn't need a nap, um, took it at the end of a meal too, that might be important. I'm still figuring this out, and I managed to get a load of laundry done, although it's not yet put away. Now I'm going out to pick up my kids. It was a little bit chilly this morning, it was a little bit cool. Um, usually they're starving as soon as I pick them up, so I'm going to see if they want to go to a buffet. I am trying really hard to wrap up my, my evening. I, uh, I took my meds. I took my second dose. I'm feeling sleepy. But I also took the trash out, so there's some progress there. I did not really get a clip of my dinner. I, I had um, just some fried fish, one enchilada. That That's not a whole lot. That's like one small taco. Um, I had some meatloaf that tasted like a loaf of meatball. That was pretty good. And, uh, see, I had a couple different kinds of, uh, salad. There's potato salad, there was something with, uh, carrots and raisins, and then there was something else with broccoli and raisins that I thought was kind of similar to a Waldorf salad. Um, I probably should have just grabbed some fresh vegetables, but the, the stuff at the salad bar didn't look fantastic. 
I'm sure I'm forgetting a few things, but mostly I was there because I wanted some bread pudding. Again, with the raisins. Um, it, it's not like it used to be there. I, I used to like the bread pudding at this particular location. It's gone downhill. I also had a very small um, ice cream cone and a little piece of lemon bar. I overate. And then John and I walked it off at Walmart because he needed new shoes and some other clothes and a watch because apparently one of his teachers won't let him check his time on his phone. I'm pretty sure they have clocks in every room, but you know, whatever. He's looking cool now. His, his style is changing, so. Apparently shorts aren't cool anymore, which is funny because up until a couple of months ago, that's all I would wear. I'm trying to stay awake. I managed the rest of my medications. I cleaned up a little bit. I did get the the one um, load of laundry that I did today completely put away. Great. And I've been watching Reddit videos and uh, yeah, this this uh, this next one this recommended for me right after watching some mildly infuriating because r slash mildly infuriating is awesome. I, I know it's coming on rapid fire, but I can do other stuff while I'm listening to it, watching it. Well, apparently this one is uh, Crackhead Craigslist. That sounds horrible, but what, whatever. I'll, I'll give it a shot, but, but basically I'm I'm done for the night. I'm, I'm trying really hard to shut my brain off. And I don't think I'm going to be awake much longer. I didn't even really properly try to watch TV today. It's just been YouTube. Except for that one point at which I tried putting on uh, Revenge of the Sith to get John out of here. Which did work. I thought about going to the gym tomorrow, but I'm, I'm still not too sure myself where this upping the dose thing is going on, so I'm gonna hold off. If I'm feeling well in the morning after my first dose, I'll try to do some exercise here at home or find something to clean. It's usually the second one. I got a late start this morning. I missed most of my alarms. I hustled my kids along to school and uh, went home and continued to try to adjust an adult and stuff and to the new meds. Try to behave myself responsibly like an adult. I took phone calls to confirm appointments. I answered emails to confirm appointments. I took a phone call to set up a new appointment, which is about half of what I do as a mother. That, answering the weirdest questions. But my kids kind of twisted my arm. It's like, we are so good. We're, we're so well behaved. We're so nice. We were so helpful. Please, mom, please get us fast food for dinner. So. I just picked up an order at Taco Bell and I'm picking up an order at Wendy's and then I'm going home. Okay, I'm home. And, uh... That was a lot. I am sitting down because it is dinner time. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna dig through this bag right here and try to remember what it was that I ordered. John knew what he ordered, so this shouldn't be too difficult, but here's the one thing that you need to really understand about Taco Bell if you're not familiar with Podunk USA. Taco Bell claims to be Mexican food. Taco Bell is incorrect because Taco Bell is neither Mexican nor food. I'm pretty sure that all of it is cleverly disguised styrofoam and newspaper clippings 
with some cumin seasonings in there. Uh, cumin based seasonings. Maybe even a little bit of chili powder to get that little taco flavor. <laughs> oh, that, that is all bologna. I've got my you know, Taco Bell with the Bell design cup with that seems to have squiggled all over the place. Yeah, that's I got a giant Diet Coke. The condensation is just everywhere. I was looking at their online thing because I prefer put orders in online where nobody can mishear me and give me the wrong stuff or forget things because it's already punched into the computer for them. And they had an online deal for a $5 build-it-yourself craves box. So it's one classic uh, item, so like a burrito or taco, right? I got a soft taco. I wanted the uh, cheesy potato burrito, but they didn't have cheesy potatoes at this location. Um, so they also have a you know one specialty item. So I got a Supreme Crunch Wrap. This little bitty thing is actually, as far as non-food food items go, is not too bad. It's um. It's tortilla with a little bit of what's supposed to pass as taco meat, some lettuce, shreds, and cheese. Just rolled up in there. Um, not a whole lot of veggies. I didn't get the Supreme Taco. That would have more lettuce and some tomato and some sour cream on it. But it's not too bad. A couple of those make a, you know, a decent small meal. This would be my suppose a crunch wrap. Oh, of course they did that upside down. They take a slightly larger tortilla for this. Inside is one layer is going to be this this one is the supreme with tomatoes and, and extra lettuce and sour cream. Um, taco meat hard uh, tostada shell which is like a, a hard taco but flat. Um, and then the other stuff on top, and then they fold it in and just grill it on both sides, you know, so it's all toasty and melty, right? And then the, the last thing was um, a side or dessert item. For that, I picked cinnamon twists, which are basically deep fried noodles. John, you're blocking my light. Sorry? It's deep fried noodles with some cinnamon sugar added. This is, uh, this is, it's pretty easy to find, um, Juro's, which is the, the type of noodle in my local supermarket. So I could be making that at home with fake sugar and not have it be so much. And they included a, a drink, but, um, they had that whole meal deal for five bucks that's really not too shabby considering i just i went across the street to wendy's and got what bruce wanted and his order turned out to be almost as much as all the food that john and i got at uh, taco bell but less but again food so yeah there might be some some food-based grease in all of that i'm gonna watch like one episode of something funny I, i'm maybe on youtube and then I'm going to try to get some editing handled because I've been on a roll lately and I'd really like to catch up. You good? Yeah. Okay. Alright, I, uh, I, I wound up watching more YouTube than I expected. Mostly Reddit videos. One of these days, I really should make a Reddit video just... just touring the side of reddit that i hang out on which is really weird but usually pretty happy and positive like there's some everybody knows there's really dark corners of that website but there are some really nice ones too like r slash church of rogers and it's really hard to explain the absolute phenomena that that was mr rogers neighborhood fred rogers was a kind soul and I think it's cool that a whole bunch of people decide to just, you know, go from being his TV neighbor to being internet neighbors amongst themselves.
it's heartwarming. I I don't know. It's been a weird evening. John keep, kept came, coming in here and, and talking to me. I didn't actually get around to any of my editing. I need to do that. I should work on that. And, uh, yeah. One more school day. And then it'll be the weekend. It's probably not going to be relaxing because my dad's got projects lined up. <sighs> That'll be fun. I'll live. I'll survive. I'll be fine. I've had a very slow day. I got my kids to school on time. I actually woke up a bit early, so that was helpful. I had a nice calm cup of coffee, and I took my time getting out the door. No problem. John managed to get a assignment that he had late completed yet um last night and then he had no pending work so his his uh teachers when he had all his work done let him goof off and he's very fond of that i texted with one of his friends' moms about going out to see the dungeons and dragons movie tomorrow so uh that's all set and i got a phone call from one of my elderly friends at church who recently had a mild stroke and asked if I could come get him on Sunday. I can totally manage that. I can swing that. That's no problem. Of course, Sunday is a church picnic rather than an actual service, so we're going to the park. That should be fun. Um, let's see. Yeah. I got, I got editing. I, I did a bunch of editing today. I'm cleaning so much stuff out of my phone, which I've been needing to do for a while. I've, I've gotten up to my birthday. Wow. Still so much to do, though. It is dinner time. My mom made a pot roast. Beef, of course. Um, it smells amazing. I was scooping out chunks from the Instant Pot, and uh, I found a bay leaf. Also got some mashed potatoes and some salad. Of course, I have my dressing on that. And I've been drinking mostly water today since the coffee. But I've also set myself up with some um, uh, jasmine green tea with a couple of little, not stevia, Splenda pellets in it because that was sitting out available. I'm going to watch something, maybe She-Hulk, and then more editing. Okay, the local town Facebook has been blowing up that uh, supposedly our local target is full of predators. predators and creeps. So John and I went to go stop in our local target. Pepsi, um, not sponsored. He won the soda. And, and he so went to look at Legos, and he also got some Peeps. There were no five-dollar Lego packets. Peeps are a terrible, horrible invention of sugar monstrosity. They're diabetes on a stick. Diabetes on a stick. Although most Peeps are in trays, not sticks. And uh, it's just like a little marshmallow chick covered in colored sugar with a couple little brown chocolate flavored candy dots for eyes. They also have a rabbit shaped one called bunnies. So, you know, diabetes, diabetes central. And now we're going home. Um, we were making a lot of inappropriate jokes about uh, inappropriate people acting inappropriately. And, um, it, it's been weird. It's been very strange. It's been a fun evening. You're a weird guy. Also, he went into Target wearing a red shirt like he was trying to get uh, content for r slash I don't work here, lady. Which, if that was so, he failed. Alright, I've 
think I've had bad enough of today. It's been long. It's been weird. John tells me that at school today, uh, he got into a tussle with some guys who were picking on this one friend of his who happens to be Muslim. And these kids kept saying that he was from India. I don't think he's from India. Anyway, just it, every time I asked John a question about this, it seemed to get dumber and dumber. I'm glad he stands up for his friends. Apparently one claim was that uh, their little group had jumped him or beaten him up. And he was, I mean, look at me. I, I don't have a scratch on me. So, um, I, I don't know. That's been weird. I'm in for a long weekend. We may be repairing the shed roof. We may be switching out a air conditioner unit. I don't know yet. It's probably going to be a long day tomorrow. And then I also need to figure out something to take for the church picnic. Normally I would go with a dessert, but I really wish they had some kind of sign-up thing, like an online sign-up thing, where everybody, everybody knew what everybody else was bringing, so not too much stuff got doubled up. That'd be preferable. I could use a nice day out at the park with a burger. April Fool's Day. No one has pranked me yet. I'm headed out to uh, pick up a new air conditioner for John's window because he's having trouble sleeping due to the heat. House gets warm. House doesn't cool off. Polar bear can't polar. I didn't finish up my video last night, but I think I can finish it up tonight. And set it to upload for Monday. And then start working on another video for Wednesday. That would be good. I'm getting ideas for side bits I want to do. Non-vlog videos. I wish I could entertain everybody in the manner in which I entertain myself. Some of that stuff is hilarious. Things are not exactly going my way today, not much at all, but the busted air conditioner is picked up, or, or is out of the window, the new one's picked up and ready to get installed, there's more damage to the window frame than I thought there would be, I'm going to be taking a shop back to it as soon as the um, spray it on and let it dry stuff is, is done. Of course, any window that's not properly sealed because it's open, because there's an air conditioning unit in it, is going to have some issues with moisture damage, but I'm a little bit tired. I'm not doing any heavy lifting. I still have to keep stopping and, and reminding myself to pace myself. But on the upside, John and my mom are out to a movie. My dad has a weird diet. Bruce has no interest in anything but ramen tonight, so I only had to worry about myself for dinner. This is a tuna salad sandwich. It is a bit stacked. If you look really close, somewhere in there is a slice of American cheese. I used uh, mayo, mustard, dill relish, a little tiny scoop of tzatziki, um, some ranch seasoning. Yeah, I know, I know. It's, it's a thing. It's in a canister. Um, and of course the cheese and uh, yeah I ran a sad dill relish don't like sweet relish never have don't like sweet pickles and I've got uh, yeah plain salted ruffled potato chips
And from when I ran out earlier, I'm still working on this. This is a um, Coke Zero uh, limited edition move flavor. It's all right. I kind of wish they would just chill with the specialty flavors for a bit. Or maybe have one that runs a bit longer. Like maybe two flavors a year. I could, I could cope with that. And if it was particularly popular, maybe maybe a couple of years for that run. I'm going to knock out a episode of um, something. Maybe a million little things. That would be good. And then I'm going to get back to it. Alright, it has been a bit of a day, but the window is closed. I got the I got the window sill damage handled. John's still awake with with me. He's uh he's not planning on going in the morning. I have to get up in the morning. I have to go run down to another town and pick up a friend who has stroke and run back up here for the uh actual church picnic. My hands feel funny because of the cleaning stuff I was using. I am really worn out. I'm going to have to take it really easy tomorrow. And I'm going to have to remember to take my medications with me. Yeah. Currently my medication schedule is throwing everything out of whack. If it's late enough that I can take my kids to school and then deal with whatever reactions I'm going to have, then I'm not on track for Sunday mornings. Sunday mornings on track? It has to be in the middle of the day. Middle of the day doesn't work because then I'm taking the second dose in the middle of the night. I... I don't, I don't want to do like 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. either because then my evenings can be weird. I really, really hope that I come out of the whole um, feeling sleepy and shaky after I take it. I'm, I'm still having some side effects and I took, I took tonight's dose a little late. It was like 11. So, I don't know. I don't know how to make this work with my life. I have to do some thinking on that. Thanks for sharing my week with me.